Welcome to episode 3 of Ranking On Up, and we're just starting the challenge. So far we're 4-0, and I'm sticking with the same team I have. So for this week, this is going to be the team. Next week I'll change it up depending on what you guys want to see. I can basically switch Gurchomp out with anything, so I can put him in there if you guys want to continue with this type of team. And... I don't see an issue here. This team I'm using right now is that. So basically I'll pick three Pokemon that you guys want to see, try to make them work together, and I'll throw in three other Pokemon that basically run as a distraction to make them choose the wrong targets. Um, Ferrothorn, Heracross, and uh, what's my other Pokemon? I can't remember. Drapion. They all make him want to bring the uh, flying types that makes them want to bring the uh, fire types. I want them to bring fire types. When it comes down to them looking at my team, I want them to say, Oh, he's got a major fire weakness. I can go after that. And since I have a mega advantage over fire, it gives me a competitive edge when it comes to actually fighting these people. Maybe I should replace Drapion with a uh, Venusaur. That'd be funny. He starts off with his Gurchomp. I start off with my Crab. I'm thinking he's going to fear the uh, Ice Beam, so I think he might switch out. Nope, he's going to go for the Outrage. Alright, so I survived because of my Sash. I'm going to knock off and I'm going to die. But, ready for this? He's going to lose his Scarf. I'm betting he's Scarfed. And that means my Gurchomp should be able to come in and own him. What? Do you not have an item? I didn't see an item. What's going on here? Whatever. I'm going to Outrage and kill this thing. Locking myself into it. I don't think he has any fairies. If he does, that's just one sacrifice I have to make. Remember, I am playing with Kangaskhan. It is a, it is a overpowered Pokemon. Anyone that tells you different, they're kind of lying to you. But Mega Kang is legal in this type of play gameplay, so that's what I'm doing. All right, Suicune's gonna suck because the Ice Beam is coming. Fear the Ice Beam or the Sheer Cold. Watch, watch it be Sheer Cold and get, actually hit it. Alright, Scald, he's going for that burn, and he gets it, oh that lucky devil. Alright, Mega King shouldn't have any problems coming in and finishing this up, if he doesn't. Alright, Gruchomp's staying in there, he's going to go for his third one. He's still in the positive for damage, so we're still good. He definitely got lucky with that uh, burn, though. Stays in. Takes some more damage. More than leftovers, so we're good there. And he goes for the Combine, so the special attack's gonna go up. Is the problem, because I'm not worried about special defense. Now, ugh. He's gonna set up on me. And I'm betting he's Resto Chesto. But the problem is, is if I send Kangaskhan into this thing and not prepared, I'm going to lose my Kangaskhan. So I need to die. Alright, good. He's a fool. He didn't use this opportunity to set up on me. He could have got a whole bunch of con mines up and been good, but he epically fails as a player. Alright, I'm going to send Kangaskhan in, fake out, and return should kill this thing. Because I'm thinking he's not going to take this too well. Come on. Don't bring a ghost type, buddy. Don't bring a ghost type. I definitely want to bring... I definitely want to switch out with that Pokemon for... Uh, Mega Venusaur, but 
Oh, that damage. Yeah. Huh. He's plus one. And if he gets that scold off on me, he's gonna kill me. So I gotta... I'm going for the return, and then I'm gonna go for the sucker punch afterwards. Please, no burn. No burn. No burn. No burn. Oh, two burns in a row. All right, I'll deal with the facts. This might be our first loss, lady and ge ladies and gentlemen. And I'm betting he's going to attack, so I want the priority. Die. Oh my god, he lives. I... L my mistake, I like I lost it because I made a mistake. I should have went for the other uh, move. All right. Well, that's our first loss. That makes us 4 and 1. <coughs> Sounds like I'm losing my voice. Okay. So we're 4 and 1 right now. Not a horrible score, I guess. Let's at least get one victory today. All right, we're gonna continue battling. Battle box. Now I heard my Facebook go off, so I'm gonna take a look at that why it's going off. And I don't see anything. Um, challenge. Sorry, I'm going and doing a lot of competitions today and everything else. So, yeah. All right, we're four and one. And we got a trick room team, I think. No? All right, well, I'm gonna start off with Crawdunt. Bring in your chomp and King is Khan again. There's two strategies on doing uh, this type of battles. One is to bring a team that's well balanced and covers basically all your bases. The other is what I'm doing, which you bring three Pokemon you want to use and you use the other three to basically distract them and make them want to choose the wrong Pokemon of what they got. Because, yeah. I'm thinking if he sends out the electric type first, I'm going to switch out on him and send in my Garchomp and... Have your chomp have his way for a while. But, um, we'll see how this battle goes. But, yeah. We're just gonna keep on going. Come on, pick your team. But, yeah. I'm gonna try to get enough of these done, so... We have enough wonder locks and these to actually get through the week. So it's I'm gonna need four of these videos and three wonder locks. And I need three more battles from you guys, so I'll be looking around trying to find some. So that'll give us our two videos a week. So I just need one plus that. And I get to get Wonderlocks done. So I guess after this, I can do my Wonderlocks and work on that. Sorry, basically talking about my plans to get everything done for the week of recording. Now, here we go. Issuing a challenge Gyarados. Most likely, is Mega. So, knockoff isn't an option. He's going to get his Intimidate off. I actually don't know what to do to this. I'm going for the Dragon Dance. If he goes for his Dragon Dance, that means both of us will all still be faster, hopefully. We'll see who's faster. Because if I remember correctly, this thing is going to Dragon Dance. He's still faster, so I'm in the negative for attack, and he's still faster, so uh, 
is dark water. How am I going to counteract this? This might suck. Because water resists water and dark resists dark. And knockoff's not going to do extra damage, so I just will crab hammer. I'll survive the earthquake, get a crab hammer, and then I'll get an aqua jet afterwards. Aqua jet. <coughs> and here we go. Got him below half. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Mega Kanescon can come in here and finish this up. And this might actually work in my favor. Alright. So Mega Kanescon is going to fake out this turn, and then I'll power up punch the next turn. He's going to be faster though, so I will take a little bit of damage. Unless I kill. There's a chance I'm going to kill from this. He wants to use a Mega on me, I'll use my Mega. And I'm sorry, my Mega's better. Here we go for the Fake Out. Should I go for the Priority? I'm gonna risk it. I think he's gonna think I'm gonna Sucker Punch. Which I probably should have. So the two options was Sucker Punch for the priority. Ice Fang. He didn't. He didn't think I was going to Sucker Punch. Alright. Oh, he gets the flinch. Alright. I'm going to reveal my Sucker Punch. He's definitely going to go for the kill. So Sucker Punch takes it out. I can't risk losing my Kangaskhan to this. If I lose, if I go down to my King's Con, that means this is going to be a loss too, so. Yeah. Not going to be 4 and 2. Alright. I actually think I'm going to switch to my Grichomp. Because I think this is the best option. I'll take some damage, but I should be able to outspeed. Alright. And I can get rid of that Intimidate. Come on. I think he's trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I would have been in a really good situation if I would have got my uh, power-up punches off. Been kind of unlucky about the what happened today, because... Two burns in a row. Freaking uh, flinch when he needed it. Alright. Alright. In comes my Chomp. And he's going for the close combat. This is going to hurt. Not as much as I thought. But he lost some of his defenses, and if he had a Sash, it's gone. So that's a good thing. I'm an Earthquake. Stab. Should kill. I'm faster. Come on. As you can tell, he brought his fire type just because he saw two of my Pokemon were weak against it. So he assumed I was going to bring one of those two Pokemon, and it's working to my advantage now. Come on. He's going to switch out. I can feel it in my bones. Worst case scenario is he switches out to a flying type. Come on. Don't switch. Go for the extreme speed, get a little bit extra damage, and die. That's what you're going to do. Extreme speed, a little extra damage, and then you die. Come on. Listen to me. I need to kill you. So my Kangaskhan can kill whatever you have left. Hopefully it's nothing major. Alright. Extreme speed, a little bit extra damage, and then I kill you. Bye. Alright, now I'm locked into Earthquake, so that could be an issue for his next Pokemon. 
but I am not switching into Kangaskhan unless Kangaskhan is completely worthless. And I win. Earthquake for the win. I got one more of these to do before I switch over to Wonderlock, but I'm starting to lose my voice, so I need to get some water. And yeah. That takes us to a 5-1 ratio. 5 to 1 ratio isn't bad. I'd have preferred 6, but can't guarantee all the wins. Alright. And that's pretty good. B. A. And I hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the battles.